Well, if you're looking for a fun idea for the whole family, consider going to the Cougar Mountain Zoo in Issaquah. I really want to go. So we were there live a couple weeks ago, and I promised my oh, kids right. we're going to go see the kitties. Um, and well, so this morning we're going to take you there. Jared Munzer is there right now. Uh, Jared, but those aren't kitties. What do you got there? <laughs> Definitely not. Right here we have some of our Siberian reindeer. So we actually have a pretty large herd of reindeer here at the zoo, and actually it's one of the largest reindeer out of any zoo in the country. So in this group we have a, uh, several adult males, but we also have some adult females, as well as three babies that were just born this year. Aww. And a neat thing about these reindeer is they're actually the only species of deer where males and females have antlers. That is interesting. I was, just, I was yeah. yeah, we're going to talk about that. And they also look a little bit furry still. Mm -hmm. Does this mean they're new antlers? Yep. Yep, so this is all this year's new antler growth. The antlers will start growing in sometime around February. Um, and at the height of the growing season, they can start growing about half an inch to an inch a day. Wow. So they'll retain this velvet covering on the antlers until the breeding season starts. And then they'll shed that velvet off of there and it'll expose the bone underneath. And the velvet's on there to help protect all the new growth. And, uh, you know, it helps, helps protect everything while they're growing in there. Um, so the, w the females have antlers as well. Is there a reason for that? I mean, I know why the men have the yep, antlers. So the males primarily will use, yeah, so there's, there's a big guy right over here looking right at us. So that's Whoa. one of our males. Mm. So you can see his are quite a bit larger. Um, the reason why the males have such large antlers is because they'll use them basically to uh, establish the, the dominance within the herd, you know, fight for breeding rights and all that. So they'll actually lose their antlers right around December uh, after the breeding season's over. The females will keep their antlers until about March or April, which is usually around the time the calves are born. So they hang on to those antlers to help dig around through the ice and snow to forage for food. Um, also some extra protection for the babies. Wow. And a neat thing about the babies with their antlers is they actually start growing their antlers in at just about a couple weeks old. So you can't see them right away because they have so much fur on their heads. But I, if you rub your, rub your fingers through the fur, you can feed the little nubs underneath and then they just kind of start growing out of nowhere. God, isn't so nature adorable. amazing? I, it, um, seeing these guys, it feels like Christmas in July, <laughs> Jared. I mean, I, but it's always a reason to come celebrate, right? Cougar Look Mountain? Look at that face. Absolutely. So the reindeer are here at the zoo year round and during uh, the holidays we do the Issaquah Reindeer Festival here at the zoo which is actually the zoo's largest fundraiser. Uh, so we are a nonprofit organization and that event helps uh, act as one of our largest fundraisers of the year and it's a great time to come out and celebrate the holidays. Um, get a really good look at the reindeer because that's when they have their really thick winter coat. Yeah. Uh, that's when they, you can see the bone antlers underneath and um, it's it's a fun time, so it's it's a really good way to celebrate the holidays, a really good way to contribute to the zoo. Wow. Jared, thank you so much for educating us this morning about so many things. That guy's the, the one way his antler is huge. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. Jared Munzer. That was cool. Um, so I have a fun fact. Okay, so. Oh, yes. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Okay, do you remember the strawberry moon? last month, the full moon last yes, month, and yes. that's the Native Americans called it the strawberry moon because uh, that was the time that all the berries were ripening. Mm -hmm. Well, this full moon that we just had on the 27th, that one was called the buck moon, and that's because uh, the Native Americans knew that that's when the antlers were pretty much full grown on, you know, whatever grows antlers, and all the different animals that grow antlers. <laughs> <laughs> buck. <laughs> that is, I love that fun fact. Thank yeah, you for sharing. Yeah, isn't that neat? That is neat. It is, it's amazing how much more we used to be connected to the things to yeah mother in the nature. seasons now we're like it's december where are my strawberries <laughs> oh yeah <laughs>